Hey, your next comic, I didn't tell me he's going next, but I'm sure he's ready. Uh, give it up for our dear friend, Calvin Case, everybody! Oh no! <laughs> Good evening, Olympia. Feel free to take pictures. <laughs> I've been told you are um, connoisseurs of salubrious and loquacious anecdotes. I have a family much like you. I know you look at me and you think you see somebody who spontaneously sprung from a bottle of orange crush, covered in syrup, <laughs> naked and bright-eyed and willing to conquer all the tasks that the All-Father has laid out before me. And if you didn't see that, well, you're seeing it now. But I do have a family and all the yeast that goes along with it. We've got a big sister, little brother, attack baby, ferocious uncle, time-traveling crack grandfather, and <laughs> too many dads to shake a stick at. And believe me, I've tried. And much like you, my family can get, uh, you know, a little sour, a little on the ooh side. I may look like some sort of uh, globe-trotting hooligan, but I've got Ma, Pa, all the other beavers as well. So picture this for a moment. We're entering a realm of poetry. The scents of olives and mustache wax rise delicately through the air. You hear small snippets of conversation Business deals, lovers' words, and screeched profanities. Chandeliers dangle from the ceiling like gauged earlobes. And the tallest top hats in the duchy tower over you and your grandmother. Yes, it is the most luxurious eatery in all of our great nation of America, USA. You're going to Olive Garden with your grandmother. And I was having a great time. What was I eating? Sir, you seem like a beast of culture. What would you order at Olive Garden? What's your favorite dish to get at Olive Garden? Fettuccine Alfredo. Now that's not funny, so I'll think of something else, but I do appreciate your taste. I was digging into my pepperoni olive steak with gusto. I was spraying bits and bobs here and there. They were getting all over the shag carpet, but... I looked up and I felt an aura rise from my double mother sitting across from me, like my nasal receptors snapped into place. <laughs> she was hunched over in her recliner, and I take my head up for my plate of food goo, and I say, Grandmother, what seems to be troubling you? She looks at me, glowering her eyebrows at her prominent brow ridge. She says, Calvin, you would not believe it. You would not believe it. And I say, I dare do believe it, because I, personally, much like you, am a purveyor of comedy, and I wish to get my hands on all the funny, quirky, um, let's say, out of tune happenings that are happening all around me all the time with my zany, crazy family. Now, prepare yourself. Are you seated for this funny joke? My grandmother, she points to the corner, and there's a pentagram there. And my grandmother says, how dare they worship Satan in this fancy establishment? This is nonsense. And I say, oh, oh, okay, are you seated really? I turn to my grandmother, and okay, okay, for real, shut up, shut up. I turn to my grandmother. And I say they were preparing for my arrival. <laughs> you guys have been great. I'm Calvin Cage. <laughs> Calvin Cage, everybody. We've reached the novelty t-shirt portion of the evening. Uh,